way to imagine it from a social distance. I'm going to blow some bubbles indoors. Oh, if I can here. Oh. Yeah, there we go. This is a weak bubble solution. We have the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. He's outside. What's, what's going on there, Carl? You got a whole jungle gym behind you. It seems like a good time to, <laughs> to be outdoors working from home in the backyard. It is. What's happening? It's a great time. And, you know, so you have that commercial bubble solution there. Bubble solution is so easy to make. And I think everybody probably knows that just water and detergent can make a great bubble solution. But if you want to take it up a notch, you need one other ingredient. And, Tony, I, I shipped you one of those ingredients, and it's actually the lubricating jelly. <laughs> this okay. Is, this is a special... Oh, mail delivery order <laughs> yes. i dropped it off the other day <laughs> okay so the cool thing with this is it has a a polymer in it called um hydroxyethyl cellulose doesn't really matter what the name is or what the polymer is a long chain polymer will help bubbles be more supple and long lasting so i'm going to walk you through making this solution first thing okay. you need to do is take that one gallon jug of water and pour out a full red solo cup of water I'm going to try not That's to just, sing the Red Solo Cup song. It's in my head, though. Don't do that. So we're just okay. making space for the other stuff we need to add in there. Let's have a party. OK, put Proceed that to the to side. Party. No, 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 oh, don't oh, pour it. OK, OK. No, just set it on the table. All right. Now, the next thing you can do is take your lubricating jelly and just squirt it all right into the one gallon jug. The whole thing? Okay. Into the jug. Oh, into, into the, the jug. jug. <laughs> no, water jug. <laughs> I'll fix yeah, this. Yeah, go ahead. It's, yeah. Going, it's going in the. See, this is why I need you in person to be here to oversee the steps. That's okay. These are some it's of okay. the distance it's, it's learning just challenges. Be... <laughs> yeah, and you just, you, know, you just squirt the whole thing in. You We're going to use the entire container. I see pan. Okay. And so what this is doing is this is adding that long chain polymer that's going to help our bubbles last longer. Get in there, long so chains. Squirt that whole thing in. Put the cap okay. back on the water jug, Tony, and okay. you're going to shake it. And just keep shaking it. Uh, I'm going to step back here a little bit. <laughs> you don't need um, to step you, back. I'm not going to get you While you keep shaking, <laughs> while you keep shaking, okay. I'm going to show you a different way because it's going to take oh. you a while to get that great uh, lubricant Is there a hole dissolved in, this? in okay. the water. All right. Okay. So I'm going to show you a separate <laughs> polymer you can use, and it's called guar gum. It's something you can buy in the uh, grocery stores. You can buy it online. It's a food thickener. I'm going to add one tablespoon of guar gum to not the water. Oh, sure, you if I add it to the water, gum. it'll turn into just uh, a gummy snot ball. Instead, <laughs> I'm going to add about 16 <laughs> ounces of detergent. And this is the critical step if you're doing the guar gum recipe, which you can find on our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. Right. Add the guar gum. Play along at home. Keep, keep shaking, Tony. Keep shaking. I'm shaking. Add the guar gum to the detergent. Mix it up. That disperses the guar gum so that it doesn't turn into a snot ball. Uh -huh. Okay, and you're going to end up with this slurry that you will pour this into a three-gallon bucket or a five-gallon bucket. Wow, three gallons, huh? That's a whole lot of bubbles. You're going to make three gallons of bubble solution. Wow. I got it right here. All right. Now, the nice thing about this is one other ingredient you might want to add is a little baking powder. Um, add one hey, teaspoon there's a rabbit behind of you. baking. Watch out for the bunny. Whoa, <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> You're going to add one tablespoon or one teaspoon of baking powder. That'll help adjust the pH of the water so the detergent works better. So you mix that all up. You'll pour that into three gallons of water. Now, I've already done that. So I want to give you an example. And so, Tony, now what you can do is stop shaking. Okay, because I've just gotten the entire table wet. Okay, now top that one gallon container off with the detergent. Okay. Squirt as much in as you can. Okay. Here and this go. is like your this is like the one gallon version. And once you've got that almost filled up to the neck, and we added this last so you don't make a lot of foam inside the container. Smart thinking. Otherwise, you know, it'll take forever. And both of these solutions age really well. They work better the second day. Okay, so let them sit around for a while. Yours is gonna take a while. That's perfect. Go ahead and stop, put the cap on, pour some into your uh, pie pan there. I'm going to show you what, how mine performs here. I've got an assistant who might want to help me. Do you want to help? Oh, who could okay. that be? Here, we got the expert bubble maker. <laughs> Cyrus, come on. Make some bubbles. Look at Cyrus in his lab coat. 
And the beauty of this is you can make bubble wands from almost anything. I hear I took just a coat hanger, wrap some string around it, and it makes a really cool bubble maker. And you can kind of see these bubbles, they just are super supple, they last. You can make giant ones. I'm gonna try out mine here in the studio. Oh, hey, it actually worked. All that, all that shaking paid off. Look now, at that. Tony, I am yours is going to work even better tomorrow. Equipment. So you can take that home with you. You and the family can have fun making bubbles with your lubricant-based solution. It's just that simple. It's messy, it is. but it's also self-cleaning because we're talking about bubbles and soap. So this is one of the ways that you can experiment with kids at home while all of this is happening. We've got Carl and Carl's Jr having some fun. I'm sure he just is delighted when you try out new recipes like he this. He is, he loves it. <laughs> and again, <laughs> it works best in the morning, best in the afternoon. Try, don't try to do it at noon when it's the hottest part of the day. Your bubbles will just evaporate. Really? I uh, see, I never heard that. All right, that's why hey, you, that's why you want to hang out. One. You text one. You, you text caught one? one? Okay. You caught one, all right. Oh, it pops. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how you make bubble solution. That's right, and that's how you imagine it.